Each week we go inside Cal High Sports with stories on athletes who are outstanding for a variety of reasons. Therese, this week the athletes are robots and the high schoolers make them work. There is a sports theme here as basketball is part of the competition. How to make a robot shoot is the question. Inside Cal High Sports. Welcome to the world of tomorrow's movers and shakers. These people in all their get-ups and garish garb are among the brightest of our young people. They gather here to show they don't need an Aaron Gordon to shoot a basket. In fact, they don't even need a human being. All they need is a collection of pulleys, metal, and software, and they too can shoot hoops, but without actually ever touching the ball. Well, we built our robot in a very offensive manner, and also a robot that could perform all the tasks that we needed to perform to score as much as we can. Through our elevator, and we can shoot the balls out of this um, hood, which just puts the balls um, at a certain power level and we can shoot it into the baskets. This robotics competition is part of the FIRST program, an ever-growing network of high schools competing against and with each other. That's right, this year's competition includes an element where teams cooperate to earn extra points. It's very uh, gentlemanly, where all the teams are very nice to each other, but it's still very aggressive and everyone's trying to win. Gracious, gracious professionalism, which is uh, competing to the best of your ability, but still wanting um, the other teams to compete to their best of ability, too. The idea is to get the opposing red and blue team robots level on the center ramp. Easier said than done, team after team tries to balance on the ramps, but few succeed. For the Valley Christian team, this run goes well. Their shots are falling one after another. At the end, they match up with their opponent and are just able to balance on the center ramp. The Warriors move from 12th to 4th place after that one round. Yes, got it. With such a short time to design and build your robot, there are bound to be some glitches. This Los Altos high school team has a problem. So our robot auto centers. Okay. So we're trying to maybe offset the auto centering so it's, it's kind of shooting a little bit to the left. Their solution? To just aim consistently to the right. It works beautifully as one basketball after another goes into the hoops for the Los Altos team. Then, just before time runs out, the Los Altos robot teams up with its opponent to balance on the center ramp with both its alliance bots on the far ramp. When the point totals are posted, the Eagles are thrilled. Sometimes an educated guess is as good as a precise scientific computation. So we kind of guesstimated using some calculations and I guess just good luck. So, um, and it just, it totally worked and we were really happy with it. Winners here advance to the finals in St. Louis later this month, but the real key here is the learning process. Boys and girls working together, gaining skills they can use as they advance their careers in science and technology. These two years I've learned a lot participating in this robotics team. I learned how to build a um, championship winning robot. I learned how to like do like even basic tasks like cutting metal before I took that for granted. And now I understand how to do all these things I've never learned without joining this team. Learning but in a fun way. The gun team has a long history of success and red hair on the team and its fans. The thrill of competition for high school students more into science than sports. In between rounds, the guy, the PA announcer, tells a joke, and this is the joke. What do a mountain climber and a mosquito have in common? Obviously nothing. One is a scaler and one's a vector. <laughs> oh, that one kills me every time. Oh, uh, science and math jokes. All right. Yeah. <laughs>